out the other day. He, he come on my phone, called me, wanted to, 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 to somewhat apologize when his, his, one of his mom died. He, he, he reached out after him do all them disrespectful things around my name. He reached out. I reached out to him. I was even, I had a, a good conversation. I thought it was. And on the night after the conversation, he went on to his thing, calling me Jezebel and calling me all kind of things because the problem that they have with Queen Africa is as much as they would like me to be a part of their conversations, I will not have homosexuality be the center of any conversation about Jamaica people forward. Um, future moving forward because that activity was one of the weapons of war that was used against us to resist to 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 to, to stop us from resisting colonialism and the colonizers when they came along homosexuality was one of the weapons that was used against us as a people down here in the most gruesome and brutal as of ways so for you now to be finding and coining ways for the discussion of our future in terms of our constitution to be led by the rights of the LBGTQ community. That should be what is leading. That is why this little boy can feel now that he can come out and talk that, yes, me homosexual and, and so what? And me if you lead Jamaica people because then now uh, what? Semi homosexual. Jamaican people are watching that you are homosexual, Andre. And they are watching that you are placed in the position that you are in for that simple reason to play with the hearts and emotions of wounded and don't press Jamaican people so that they they have they have been waiting to love and wanting to love so long that they will love anything that comes along that looks like what they need. So we are saying this now to say to you, watch them with every eye we want to have, even for the alcohol eye and the meat out eye and the docile eye and the can't wake up eye, still look because they need to form a new government out of this country and this government will be a government that will be patterned by every other government of the world what is happening they can't wait on us down here any longer because the feet are dragging and if jamaica continues to drag them feet they might have to go go around me and bring brute force and get with a bow down but when you are the posts that keep the house together it's hard to build the house without you. And that is the position where Jamaica find itself in because it was not something that was spoken loudly, the impact that Jamaica have on the world. It was not something that they wanted the world to see with naked eyes. COVID, however, made them see Jamaica and the powers that Jamaica have with their naked eyes. And this is why we are in the position that we are in. They are, they are now trying to move Africa ahead of Jamaica when jo Africa is waiting on Jamaica to know exactly what to do, how to do, because Jamaica was and will always be Africa's teacher. Africa look to Jamaica for the answers that Africa needs. All the advocacies, all the rebellions that you see happening in the form of resistance in Africa was learned from the Jamaican people, the Jamaican ancestors that we have, the resilience, the strength, the power, the vigor, where we stand up against colonialism before it was even a thing to stand up. Jamaicans were standing up against resistance of any form, especially against God. So now we are in 2023 where the world has to be changed, the world has to be new, and Jamaica has to play the biggest role. So now they need influencers who have been influencing the people in a positive way according to what they classify positive to be because the ones that were really influencing jamaica towards the country and the kind of people that we could be they were all killed out they were all forced back they were all silenced they all gave up they ran away there's very little few of us and those who even have the courage they mostly have it in private places because they are afraid to come out to the front because they don't want to die so because of that they stand behind and they look you have have overseers you have advisors you have onlookers who sit and watch what is happening to jamaican people and know that they can do something and refuse to do it because of what it might cost them and so this is why we the few where the almighty choose is having the task of of, of, of projecting to you with such a passion and such a 
eagerness to your overs say there will not be a lot more voices like us in the very near future they will come but not from the very near future because of the job that was put in to kill the voices like these so this is why now we are saying to everyone that we cannot convince you anymore that something is off you now have to take the mantle of looking for yourselves looking on at these people that they are putting in front of you to say that they have your best interest at heart to say that they are the ones that you should trust they are the ones that you should give your heart to they are the ones you should give your confidence to they are the ones you should give all of these things that you hold so dearly and been waiting to give to someone they want it so how are you going to protect yourself and also move Jamaica forward, develop Jamaica into the Jamaica, the non-crime, um, the crime-free Jamaica that we always was? This Jamaica that we're having right now was invented out of enslavement and slavery and the brutality generation to generation to generation that we have been experiencing that has brought us to where we are now today and not having any answers coming from anywhere anytime soon. We, the people of this country now, will have to be the ones that will stand up in the unity that I'm asking Kabu them for. They don't want you to be united. They want to be wants to unite you underneath what they think unity should look like and under what you should be uniting for if you the people in your different communities get your community leaders them together in a, a good sense make sure little education in it because you don't look academics have to go in there Put a little group together, but I don't want to call it an advocacy group or a movement group. The country, by and large, the masses need a movement that is non-aligned, non-attached to no party, to no agenda, to no other forces, but the forces of the justice that the Jamaican people need once and for all, not just from before 1962 when the falls promise make both independence but from the hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of years ago generationally coming down to 2023 when the ball is in our court like what you see south africa and niger and yes there are european influences in it from for a great part but the fact that you can find countries in africa that is willing to stand up and say to countries like america hey we're gonna join with um, the brother over here is so we kind of like where he might do more. So we kind of go. That is what they learned from Jamaica. Jamaica was a little island where it doesn't matter if it was Russia, if it was America, if it was China, it doesn't matter where you were or how big your powers were. You had to be careful how you speak to Jamaicans. See? So now they have killed out a great and a vast majority of that set of Jamaican, that type of Jamaican, and now believing that they, all of us who are left here are docile and done, so we don't have nothing, so you just can't come tell me something, and we are going to just go with it. One of the assets that we have here as a masses is common sense, is what is Jamaica people, savior. Yeah, tell me your bag of nice things with a bag of big words, but with common sense, I show with something different. So now is the time, Jamaican people in the masses, where we are going to have to draw on our common senses to understand the army that these guys have set up around you to make it look like they love you and they, and, and, and they, because them can't delay much longer to start them campaigning, you know. They cannot dig because they have to come parade in front of all that we know. That's so what we can see. Who is who? So they have made their great plans, yeah? They, have, they are worried because even though they've given this, the KFC and the Burger King and the whole of false food and false drinks for drink and them do a down everybody who can fully do a down, they are still worried because they are realizing that even though the, 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 the job, everybody took the, who, who did to take the job, take the job. In, in 2020 and 2021, 22, it's still the majority of the country who did not do that. So this is why they have to be so cautious and have to be so humanitarian looking and looking on like they acting like they are human. And oh, you know, we are going to change how we as public figures, we need to look at how we are talking to the people because and 
the head of the beast, Mr. Andrew Olness. You will never get away because you broke my heart, sir. You broke my heart because at the end of the day, when you were in education ministry, we saw a man that was saying exactly the things that Jamaican people been wanting to hear for the longest while, and you used us. You went into the educational ministry, you found out the things that Jamaican people like, and you use it against them. When you came to Rebel Salute 2019, it was you looking for a way for Jamaican people to see you and to say you're nice and, they, and you got that and you use them love and shook them down in a, the deepest style it all where them in a right now as a people and now you're coming back round because election coming up in february you're coming back round now and i walk up to the streets and i buy fake adidas shots and i give a donkey and i and i take a go boy i talk to youth but i'm not stop the bumbo clot foolishness now stop the hypocrisy and come really give me the bumbo clot justice where jamaican people really need the fuck with the killing we want to kill we are because we don't know so we not no leader we don't know so the inner city you them man nobody fit out with them because the last one where the name Dodos where they down there try to unite the whole of the damn them together. We no scrape him off because he might turn against Uno and send him gone to prison. So the youth them not have no one to look to but Uno and the Mali and the Boom and the Gun and the sitting them won't no give them in there for be them role model them. And you will me despise the grung where you walk pan. Me sorry the day me did evil see you as somebody where it was human because me watch you sell your soul as a person and it it don't look good and you see you miss a mark golden now because labor right time whatever even if them win back by them force and they sit them where them are do in the background for win you know really matter because you know now win all of the people them art but you see you know pnp we want to bring an argument to a pnp because we are talking about this maroon something same way and me hope you know at least coming out chatting on a particular term but us a role seeing the maroon them tell me say they might give back pnp the ground because jib labor right this them now you as a regular person what the hell does that mean when you hear it when someone look on you and tell you say yo right now me i give pnp you no know, coming you know, like or glpd with me thing you know where does that include the masses of the country where does that include if you're going to talk things like that how come jamaica people on a broader scale don't hear conversations like that no but we only see them at the maroon functions and we see them at the mm. we see them at the maroon functions them where them are keep and we see them at the the, the, the different one away organizations them um 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 where them set up and have down here so the pnp is responsible for the lbgtq movement see the biggest mass of the lbgtq movement line up behind the pnp let me tell you something about the lbgtq movement now you see the rasta house the lbgtq movement in the rasta house you know all them getting at the rasta house because key players in the rasta house facilitate them you see it with my own eye when them bring them coming at the bingy house the latest thing when them are trying to bring through the bingy house is the whole beach beach clean up something the way you hear them they're around the corner to come talk about a hide back a beach beach access and beach something they are trying to work out a format forget to know if you understand the lie to be true they don't want Queen Africa to be a part of none of them organization them. They don't want Queen Africa to be a part of none of them meeting them. They don't want Queen Africa to be a part of nothing but them do them say a silence Queen Africa for silence. Because of me now go in none of them organization go try be a part of it. I am trying to hear what are the plans that you know have for Jamaican people because we're tired of people coming along and saying to Jamaican people, say, we are the ones that are going to fix things for you, know? and then every time we only get worse feet to right now, the last thing that they have on the table is to turn the entire population of us into slaves. So, Mark Golden. Tell me personally, say, him don't want to necessarily be the prime minister of Jamaica, but it's a duty where him have. So him have to go with the duty. The, the last meeting the other day after the whole Wura and the internet, I went and I sat down with him and I had a conversation with him to hear what Mark Golden was thinking as an individual um, towards the, the, the help 
that Jamaica really need now. Not the help that they're thinking that we need, but the help that the country really need right now. I said to him, the division that is in PNP is not a normal division because it is not divided because of the fact that some people don't like how some people are operating. The LBGTQ community in the PNP is stronger than the LBGT community in the labor right. The labor right government is using the fact that is the, the majority of Jamaicans who still are against the LBGTQ agenda. So even so, what them do? Them use Nadine Spence as for them frontline person. I am not going to say here directly that um, um, Nadine Spence is a member of the LBGTQ community, but I'm going to say that she defends the LBGTQ community very strongly, and I've been watching her, not just since she got this position in the government, for a while now, because she's responsible for women affairs. So I'm always like, Nadine Spence, if you're responsible for women affairs, why the inner city girls them stay so? Why are the poorer classes of girls in our country in the condition that they're in? And I now notice that Nadine Spence is now a part of the, 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 the reforming of the new constitution. What, and, 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 and Terry Long... Arlando Terry Long, who for him name call round, round certain behavior until him come out publicly and defend for himself otherwise, we notice say, him is carefully placed in foreign affairs. So in other words, if it is that the gay law is part of the things that they are going to change in the new constitution, we will not know until it change because of the people who are being put in the positions who do their things secretly and we just see them openly and have to go with it. We are now saying that Jamaica people, we don't have them education because them say we don't. They say, we know, Queen Africa, if you didn't have a law degree, you could have lead the country. I don't have a fucking law degree, so I'm not going to be able to lead the country. I have common sense, though. So I use the common sense. When I have, as a layman, to look on and see, say, is Jamaica people have the power in our hands? You see, when we talk, them take the things that we are saying. And them use what them want from it. And them use the power, you know, and push we further back. Because them say, you know, nah, here. Wait, what, the people they nah, hear them say, tough than did say, it's only a little packet of resistance in Jamaica. So we don't have to worry, we can just go ahead and do what we are doing. But they have to resist. So Jamaica people, you were the center of your resistance. You, when you stand up in a box office mode, when the world boy them to qualify, that they are afraid of us when we are united. They use with this unity against we. The inner city youth them, the Zoso them only set up for no full up in new prison them and the new grave them. That's why I'm sure the little thing where the youth put out, I show you how them a build grave now for bury youths in a mass. That's why we culture look all the way it look because it's with people drive the culture. It's Jamaican people drive them culture. So if the people is not at the front line of them culture, there is no culture. And the people that they are importing to represent our culture, they cannot do it properly because they are not identified with it from a DNA perspective. They are identified by the fact that them parents born in Jamaica, them born in Jamaica. If you notice, now I'll be a white athlete and sissy looking athlete. We are saying, God, 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 God do things now. I'm broken minded athlete. We don't have no patriotism. We don't think about Jamaica from a patriotic point of view. There's a thing about personal sportsman and personal sportswoman because they killed that to create the new world order. Because if everybody patriotic, then you're not going to fall underneath this one rule system. So them kill out sports and them kill out music and buy out the whole of the artists, them who them can buy, silence them off because them choose money over who know. But yet still, when everything clear and the smoke clear, they might go on rally back and come back round, come say, yeah, man, we don't love you, you know, but we don't have to just do one side and a fight in the quiet because we never move on a bomb or ask a and go. If the Almighty give you a talent, you're not supposed to use it for the people because it's God create music and a man. Everything shall vanish from under the face of the earth. Music alone shall live. But who no one decide what kind of music live and who live with the, the music. Back to the maroon now, you know, because I'm you know, in a a pint all now yet
You have good maroon, you have bad maroon. The whole of Jamaica is a maroon country. The whole of Jamaica is a sovereign country. You had enslaved Africans who were brought via the transatlantic slave trade who that slave trade was a part of the colonial settings as well. So even though we they are mourn the atrocities of the ancestors them got through through the waters to so come here. A lot of it was done by said black skin people was a part of how the ship did a load. When they arrived on this island, they did not find no Indian alone and big up all of me Indian warriors them. Seen? Because of we did they hear the Indian and the black race, the Mexican them up the line, down the line, from the Spaniard them days, Queen of Africa, how can I speak Spanish by ear? Why me not speak African language by ear? Me can speak Spanish by just someone translate a song like daddy don't touch me there for example see me never gone to school go learn no spanish as no subject but it translated and me just sing it why because engram memory somehow the day i went spain did a rule see Someone said to the Paramount Chief again, Richard Curry. Missy, uh, Missy Andre Stevens are big up on a tower. Big up Richard and he gave to us the back to school treat. And big up Buju and big up Sprague. All the names them we may call, you know. We are say come stand up for Jamaica people and love the plan, you know. All of them are, them are, them are, them are unite. But where them are unite for? Uno them really are unite for them willing to give up everything for, you know. All of them are unite for come farm one army where I go look like a fool, you know. And then before we know it, we are going to see what the real agenda is. Because if you now lend your voice wholly and solely and directly to the source, which is the people, who you are lend it to. And why are you afraid of Queen of Africa in the conversation? So, because I haven't all known me not say nothing bad about none of my fellow bridging and sister in them. All me I said to them is, who don't have powers? If you don't have powers, why not exercise it at full of free will then? Me I said to Uno say, Uno have the power to call the maroon community together and call the unity to save Jamaica people from the debt and the slavery where I come for Jamaica people. The people of God, the true people of down here. Because guess what? You see when the division in a Jamaica fix, that is when the division in a Africa is going to fix. Because the division did really start down here. There were free Africans who used to travel out of Africa before slavery. Our history as black people did not begin when slavery began. So you cannot convince all of us that this island was wholly and solely made and created out of the what left of slavery. We will not all accept that Bert Samuels. We're not going to accept that. And you, Mr. Bert, warrior. Samuels, if any of them else don't know the truth, me know so you know the truth, because I see you practice the truth when me I talk about bird. Can we call? Can we call the gathering? We need the gathering. We need the revival. We need the kumina. We need the dinky mini. We need the true gospel. Somewhere in a Jamaica, on a central gathering, where the people see all our way together, the stakeholders make the system fret when them see it. Why are you guys at the table of the system? We no still there at the table of the system. We no not talk on behalf of the people. And Rastafari house, I get the first bullet. The house of Rastafari in a Jamaica get the first bullet. I vi, I a V, that a Mitzi. Uno stand up on the front line of the Naya Bing And uno a letting homosexuality through the Bing house. We artists them, we stand up on the front line of the resistance. Proto J, Leela Ike, Coffee, Chronics, Uno a Latin, the LBGTQ community, true reggae music. Pan with dance hall front 
Lady Soft. Spice. Me never want to go to curse, you know. Shensia, Jada Kingdom. All of the man, them, valiant, them, who know a Latin. Homosexuality to dance all. I uno are the gatekeepers, them. We stand up in the way of the devil and with system and with culture. The same vloggers, them. What did I do? What did I do? Pan the ground before them did have online. They move online and I do it now. And still I influence Uno against Uno truth and Uno rights and them are boast because the army where them are create I get bigger and bigger because more and more people in a Jamaica no one here where we are say and we them say figo sit down and pretty ugly blood clot than them fi come be the new role models them for no eleven year old we are gonna be twenty one eleven years from now twenty two and them are gonna grow up and walk around in a wig. And lipstick because you know, see the amount of lesbian and gays where we have now. Look on TikTok and look on the amount of youths where they depend on TikTok where you used to see a walk up and down every day and admire who no have no problem to come talk on TikTok. So, them gay now are the most are the nuffest drag queen. Me, me, don't have so much drag queen there, Jamaica and the diaspora because you don't know America was the land of the free and the home of the brave. A lot of them did run go there. A lot of them did run go there and go learn the ways of the world and now them are defend it. So these gay communities, they don't have to do much because they have their recruits who they have now turned into, they have, have wronged and turned them now into recruiters and they are now on TikTok recruiting on a little boy them. While Richard Curry them the one side that end us. Andre Stevens to come before no children, them leader. And uh, Uno I tell me, say, there's not such a thing as Jamaicans and Maroons. Uno still I try to convince, we say, you know, have two different Jamaica down here. And the monster Jamaica is getting bigger than the victim Jamaica. And this is why the 2030 vision is going to look possible. Because when they round we up down like a cackle and tell you which part to go and which part not to go. If you make any move or hack any way, you the one who make the move or get the shot and you're going to be the example to all of the rest of them. Like when you see them, I try to do with me. Yeah. If them could have get me if you call and quiet down, they would have did win. But Janeva RDN, if you call and quiet down, him RDN, if you talk as loud as deafening as me can get, because the truth I need to go out there. I know all of we, he did RDN for me soul, good on. Me can't even bother talk about the church because the church is doing exactly what the church was put here to do. Keep us away from God, the true and living Almighty. There is no way on earth we can have 300 and half square mile worth of church more than anywhere else on the four corners of the world. And now all we have beside them, the church has some rum bar. Every church now have a rum bar side right and a funeral home and then a graveyard and a pharmacy. Those are the things that are being developed and improved in our country because we are going to be the biggest hospital the world are going to see. I'm going to be Jamaica because we're going to full of this woolly paras clad people. We're going to need limb and I'm going to need this and I'm going to need back and I'm going to need front and I'm going to need belly and I'm going to need all different parts of them body. This is the, this is the mecca we're going to have down here. See? So, me I say now, in a summary panda segment there, Jamaican people, the power is in your hands. By looking on at these people, coming together, putting aside your differences, all the little fuck with them, with them used to keep on our part, all of the community leaders, them, where can make the difference, where can make the war, or the peace, go on. Throw down your arms for your own protection in the future and start a conversation of unity and camaraderie and forgiveness amongst you guys self. I am here trying to work on a little way of how I can do an uh, inner city tour. Like have a, have a system set up and have a, have a band system and different, different ones where we can go through the communities them in a different um, days. I'm, I'm actively working on that right now. But as me say, I am the enemy among all of them. None of them don't want to be a part of what I am saying. None of them don't want to meet with me, but they're meeting with them one another them. And them coming back to you to make it look like, yes, we are doing the unity. They are uniting to keep you know, as slaves.
is what them uniting to do. Them now nah, unite for no know on the rights and say we need the constitution to pause until the public can fully have an understanding as to why it is being reformed. See? We need the election. We need to send the strongest message where any government ever see. Whether, whether, whether the one going out or the one coming in, we need for sure the world say everything that they have ever heard about Jamaicans and who we are as a people when we unite, how well we do it. The, we, the people, will have to organize that for ourselves. No one, anytime soon, will want you, the people of this country, to realize that that is the kind of power that you have in your hands right now to stand up and show the world that, yes, this little rock is really a centerpiece of the Almighty Creator, a best peace a best made spot ever so they are trying now to kill out the greatest resource which is you the people and then take the land and then say yeah man see it? we get jamaica to be the place to live and raise families because we kill out the true inhabitants of the land and bring in all of the ones them we not really belong here we not really love here we just want to come live because it's the place to live and be because of the kind of weather where we have done here which part jamaica place and the powers where the almighty give we as just a gift so, from ever since, this was not about me having something personal against Buju, having something personal against Praga, having something personal against Muta, having something personal against Kabu. We are saying we are gatekeepers of a masses of people that have been looking up to us through music, through word and, sp and, and wo spoken words, and through music. We were the ones who were on the front line when they needed us the most. And now is the time when they are looking to us the most because they thought that we were actually honest and true to the things that we were saying to them. Only to find out that is use. Is use. We did not use them all this time. To be seen and to be heard and to push our own agendas. Seeing? Just imagine. If all these stakeholders. I'm not talking about the system now. Because they are doing their organizations. And they are doing it well. They are coming together very well among themselves against the people. Just imagine if those who say they defend people. Seeing? Car one of them meet. They might have enough meat they might have right now. You know? And they might plan how it is we are going in front of these people. And go look innocent. And go look like we really and truly are work for them. How we are going to do it? To make it look sincere. Because if it not done upon the levels there. They might go have hell. For sure the few are the ones where them say nah see. It, it, it are going to be hard to convince them. Say we're not really genuine you know. And a genuinity the people are look for right now, you know. When me go into the inner city and go see the condition of the inner city, is the ghetto used to drive every idea and every energy about we as a people, you know. And look where we do to the ghetto them. Eh? The whole of the ghetto them empty out. All of the youth them run through the bar of them, them hen up loose out all over the place. And who not do that? Then they know a ton drag queen and a ton gay and, a, and just feel like to turn on them phone and put on a frack and go up on TikTok is the way out. The artists, we are the ones who them did have. So if we is not a part of the, 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 the colonialists them, the colonizers them, who no artists, who no big artists, we are making it look like our Queen Africa and we shut up and go sit on one side. Why don't you come talk raw and loud for the people? You think, say, I sit me I look, if me I look sitting, me would not talk how me I talk, because the people we talk like me not get much. If you know the people them, when we put out all my album, you know, we are come up if you don't know nobody that's it. Because nobody in the system now go and position Queen Africa because Queen Africa hit against the system. You understand what I say? I mean, I hit against the system for a little low up cheer. I want high blood clot cheer. I sit down and I look down for the system and say, go suck on yourself. Because you don't get all the weed down here. You understand what I say? So how we going to defend that going forward? Because we see bro God now come out in a nice human self. Come back and come on again and come and try with a little. Um, you know, Jamaican, you know, I, I, I see you. You know, we are, we, I'm, we're making the commitment that we're not going to leave you. You see, all the brother, when he Abinil, remember when Abinil talk it publicly, say, I get, we have to get rid of them youth if we want Jamaica to develop, you know. See? They all are getting rid of the real original Jamaicans where they're supposed to come to the table with. And replacing them with just people who are called by the name Jamaican. They are not Jamaican from art. They are not Jamaican from DNA. So they would have loved to have it twisted. Say Queen Africa say Jamaican people are not African. Jamaican people have some Africans who were never enslaved.
by no one, nowhere. That is what Jamaica have. Some Africans that were never enslaved by no one, nowhere. Is Jamaica they were found? Those people. And their bloodline is still here. Watching Uno. And seeing the people them will not choose. As the Fiba them, the Miss Kitty them, the Miss Simone Clark them, none of them woman there. Jenny Jenny them. None of them. Now nah, come fight for black woman. When the real black woman them will forget fight for dung dung ya. A products them want to sell them. Things I'm afraid of now, no. Who no you know, don't know like me already, so I'm not give a fuck. Me I call the whole around the neighborhood and call key influencers were slug in front of Jamaica people. I feed Jamaica people blood to the system. And uno only silent one on the talk the truth to Jamaica people, but in time for the big up baptism and them something they're ready for talk about. Everyone have rights. What happened to Queen Africa? People have rights. Why should not allow the people? pedophile have rights? The nasty, dirty, stinking, dirty man them. We are asleep with them daughter, them and I sleep with them. Hey, you would hey, I'm telling you something now. And some people will get raped and come back and come rape other people. Them are them are them on a bad fine. A demo no bad for one no one no hit out against with we youth some of them say for law we youth them a certain lifestyle we don't want dung ya because it don't have too prevalent amongst the youth them and the school them and why we why remember when we do keep it to yourself is the is the gay book them but then put with run it to it them they put in at the school you know because them time they are him at the education minister you know and some did right keep it to yourself you know See, you can't teach your kids, but not teach them that, you know. Then wait until it dead down and cool out and do what they're supposed to do. And now, then rally back now with some new gay book. Or some people, me see over, over TikTok, I try button and I put them up and I say, What kind of book them here? Then put back the book them now with curriculum now because the ground clear out. No resistance, no there. No Jamaican, no dung, then do a sale dung. And not do a sale, we do a sale dung, man. We no kill out the real warriors, them and run with some of them. See? Him? And the ones them we can really attack you know, just they are watching and I say, because see what no really I do. You see me? And that's how you know, feel the way you know, feel no cause you know, pray. What do you know pray yourself to how hard on the girl Queen Africa? She now nah, turn on her back her phone ever again. You know, get fuck call me that tell you no know, before now, say. Me did, first of all, I did told you guys that 2023 was going to be the way it was going to be. And watch September, October, November. Watch September, October, November, December. Because bro God said February now and pass and the election no call. That's the local government one. See? And you see the brother that went near him. Damien Crawford is a brother when to like Queen Africa too, you know. Some want to pre him too. From long before now, him is a youth where we bat for him, let him in. See it? And I always notice him say, him always make it look like him have an issue with Queen Africa. You see me? I mean, him to declare why. Because we are look leader. And we are look fear leader. We are look leader. We really have the interest and the, and the, and the, and the well-being of the country for true. We are them the leader we really want to see now for true. Whether them are going in a labor right and turn against labor right and come out, or them are going in a PNP and turn against PNP and come out, or some people in a labor right and some people in a PNP are going to merge and form one new government, or we are done with the two of them all together, and some new people form some new organization and present themselves to it and make we see where them up to. The Pan Africanist movement, if it is that there is any more African with backbone in you know, the Pan Africanist movement, yes, Mr. Umar Johnson. Over there still a bad from a heterosexual and a strong man point of view. See? Me want to make sure say, the Pan-Africanist movement in a Jamaica is not mixed up in the LBGTQ agenda. And is not using the frontline warriors in the Pan-Africanist movement. To hide under red, green and gold and African frack. To come tricky. Because if you know we as part of the conversation, will not hide. What are you hiding then? Kabu Mahat Keru. Why you find such a favor in a Andre Stevens Kabu? But you can't find it in a Queen Africa. Sprague Benz. Why it's so easy to communicate with 
and Jay Stevens, but it's not easy to communicate with Queen Africa. Why you can't reach out to me on my phone for we have the conversation, but you can't busy over Andre? Spraga. Action speak louder than words in a real life. It's true. And it's something you can't go around. I don't know action we are judging you by. I don't know if you judge by Queen Africa as well. By her action. You see me? The loudest talk if you make now supposed to make on behalf of the people we got put in front of. 